hey what is up guys my name is rahul and in this video we'll be solving a challenge called basic rsa so so it is of a format of a email so as you can see if, if you take the first letters from each word you can see that r s and a so it gives us a hint that it is an rsa so we found this code and these numbers which is in the form of data dot text mean anything to you so i have got it downloaded so cat data dot txt as you can see we get the n number and we get e but this time we do not get one cipher text but we get many cipher texts so instead of solving just one we'll have to solve all of them so it is simple we can just implement a for loop download sublime sublime text dot py let's copy the entire text let's convert this to a list this is a list of ciphertexts let's remove each space with a comma let's use regular expressions we'll be replacing it with a comma we've done that let's remove it from here here so let's copy this so either you can find out the factors uh, with the help of your own program or you can use factor db i use factor db because it is quite fast and you can easily find out the numbers which are quite long so copy so let's take it as p is equal to this q is equal to this now we'll be calculating phi so phi is p minus 1 into q minus 1 now we calculate d d can be calculated with the help of an inverse so d is e inverse mod phi so this is uh, how we calculate d and then we calculate the message so message is power uh, is cipher text to the power of d mod n so I have already explained this in my previous video. So in this video, I'll be just showing you the method. So let's write a shebang line. User bin Python 3 from. So we'll be calculating inverse right over here. So since we'll be using inverse over here, e to the power minus one. So we can use crypto library from crypto dot util dot number import inverse. So now that we have done it, d equals inverse of e and the next number, whichever we pass it, it will do the work of mod phi. So the next number will be, so at first it will calculate the inverse of e and then it will calculate the mod. So then we've done it. So let's print d. As you can see, it worked. So this time we are not just provided just one um, ciphertext, we are provided multiples. So for i in c so every time this root run, runs we'll be get, getting one cipher text each time so print power it is c to the power d comma n this time it is capital n and not small n so let's see if this works okay again so we are using i and as you can see we get the values we'll remove this part as you can see these are ascii values so what we can do is we can write chr and let's print it so let's leave this m plus equals to this and m equals to let's run it but next time we'll be printing it out print m and this is the flag for the challenge so gigm so this is the flag for challenge guys, thank you.